This question is about the human heart and major blood vessels. So first we have to identify structures L, M, and O. L is pointing at the valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle, which is also called the atrioventricular valve. And sometimes some teachers might abbreviate this to AV valves, but you need to write the full name in the exam. M is referring to the septum, which separates the left from the right side so that the oxygenated blood does not mix with deoxygenated blood. O is referring to the valve right before the aorta, which is called the aortic valve, or some textbooks might refer to as the semilunar valve. But both are acceptable. And the blood with the highest concentration of carbon dioxide will be in the either vena cava or the pulmonary artery. So the vena cava in the diagram is N, or the inferior vena cava, I should say. And the pulmonary artery is the structure P. So either will be the correct answer. So you can put either N or P, but just one letter, because it says A letter. And the blood vessel containing blood with the highest concentration of oxygen will be either the aorta or the pulmonary vein because the pulmonary vein has the blood which has been freshly oxygenated by the lungs that goes back to the heart. So I'm going to also write pulmonary vein and we just have to identify the letter in the diagram. The aorta is J and the pulmonary vein is K. So you could put either J or K as your answer. And the blood vessel containing the highest pressure is undoubtedly the aorta, which is also J, because it pumps blood at a great distance to all the organs in your body. So it's J as well. Next, we have to describe how blood moves from K to J. K is the pulmonary vein and J is the aorta. So we have to describe how the blood moves from the pulmonary vein to the aorta. As we know, the blood enters the left side of the heart through the pulmonary vein into the left atrium. And then the atria, both atria, like left and right atriums, contract at the same time to push blood into the ventricles. But we're just looking at the left side specifically. So then blood goes into the left ventricle as the AV valves open. And next, when the ventricles contract, the blood goes into the aorta as the semilunar valves open, and the valves behind, or the AV valves, will close. So those are the five key points that you need in the answer here. So first, the blood enters the left atrium through the pulmonary vein which has blood coming from the lungs. And number two, the atria contracts to push blood into the left ventricle. And this will result in the opening of the AV valves, so that's another point that we need to mention. Atrioventricular valves open to allow blood through to the ventricles. And number four, the ventricles contract to push blood into the aorta. Or I should say, in this case, we're talking about the left side. So the left ventricle contracts to push blood into the aorta. And the fifth point, as the semilunar valves open, the AV valves close. So those, that's the kind of complete answer I want. But in full sentence, of course, when you have 
the time to do it in the exam. Of course, I'm just showing you the key points in this tutorial. And the last thing we're going to talk about is why the walls of the left ventricles are thicker than the walls of the right ventricle. Well, because the left ventricle leads directly into the aorta, right? So then the um, blood pressure has to be higher. Or we can say that left ventricle pumps blood at higher pressures over greater distances to all organs of the body through the aorta. And that's how you score all two marks of the last question.